I never thought I'd see the day where a Jordan 2 Comfort would hit my collection. And that one being in particular, the Tiana Taylor, a rose from Harlem. Today guys, we have a review on the upcoming Jordan 1 Comfort 2, or the Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort 2, Tiana Taylor, A Rose from Harlem. A Rose from Harlem being her hit single in 2018 has now made its way onto a sneaker, which in my opinion is another hit. The Comfort 2 Jordan, the Jordan 1 Comfort that had came out a couple years back, the Jordan Zoom Air Comfort 2 now has released and it's brought some upgrade to the shoe. The retail price point is $150 and for this collaboration it's $150 and these shoes are already on the aftermarket going up into the 350s. So be expecting this shoe to for the most part do numbers. What it is is a more comfortable version of a Jordan 1. The Jordan 1 itself, the midsole, the actual insole is just very basic, flat, not that much tech in it. Well, they pretty much have taken out a lot of that inside and revamped it with Zoom Air going on at the heel and also I wanna say the mid forefront. While we're at it, we can actually check it out ourselves. On the actual box, it details all the upgrades that have been changed and put in on the Comfort Zoom. One being a forefront fit with the mid lockdown right here. The laces actually hold this together. It's not stitched together, which you normally see on Jordan 1s. Now, you can literally put your finger right through that. For more of a lockdown feeling, the tighter the laces are. You got a molded sock liner with arch support, Zoom Air, a Formula 23 insole, and then of course the molded rubber. Lightweight, comfort, and breathability. Now, I had mentioned on this shoe that the leather is A1 steak sauce. And I stand with that. I stand with the leather. Now, one of the things though that I think why the leather even feels better is there's not that much inner material on this shoe compared to a Jordan 1. When you put your finger in there, you can literally see my finger. But Jordan 1s typically have like that inner lining material, the, the, the maybe, I don't know what they're using on the inside of it, and then the leather that's on top, and it gives you that form and that fit, that stiffness, you feel me? You know, let's just grab a Jordan 1 right here. For instance, you got this leather, right? Well, there's something, some, so, some sort of backing there, right? Well, on the Comfort, there is none whatsoever. It's just straight leather. Your foot, your sock, and then leather. There is not any type of other separation, so they take a lot of the inner guts out, which makes it a more flexible shoe, definitely. But also, I would say a, a flexible, lighter. At the same time, on the bad end, I guess, you know, if you drop something on your toe, you, you, you're feeling every point of it. But with all that being said now, and you're just going off of the leather, it's gonna give a more softer feel. The leather's gonna give a more luxury look overall if you have, you know, compared to like these 85 highs that are extremely stiff. So the leather almost feels almost as if it's plastic, but I feel like it has a lot to do with the material that's used, you know, underneath the leather, the backing of the shoe that makes it feel more stiff. On these, like I said, a lot of the material is taken out from the inside. Even on the ankle, you can actually look. They take out a whole, huge portion of the ankle right here where it's, it's just a hole on both ends. So I feel like they kept a lot of the quality of the leather on this shoe, but then removed a lot of the inside to you know keep it at a reasonable price point because the tech and the sole, one of the main things about this shoe, the Zoom Comfort, is where all a lot of the money and tech is going into. That's a little bit about the tech of the shoe, but the shoe, of course, features Tiana Taylor all over it. You got Tay on the tongue, you got Tiana Taylor with the two T's and the rose, a rose from Harlem on also on the lace. And this is it's pretty, pretty heavy, pretty hefty. And this is actually a pin, like a safety pin that's going on right there. Yellow laces, you got red laces, you got black laces, you got the Jordan, the Nike little envelope that also goes into detail about the shoe as well. And this shoe, as you can see, has zigzag stitching going on, kind of, you know, what we've seen of, of the past and whatnot, you know, from off-white and those type of Jordans. You got the brown, red, a gym red all over on there. And then X's that are featured all on the toe box as well as on some on the side right here and then when we move along to this end you have the actual rose 
going on on the swoosh alongside with the thorns. So they're playing a little bit of, you know, a little homage to that, that single, the song, the name of the actual shoe, the rose with the thorns poking out, and actually on the actual shoe itself. So it says a rose from here, and I'm guessing on this one, it says from Harlem. So a rose from Harlem. You also have the same statement stated on the box from the concrete grew a rose. So as I stated before, a rose from Harlem coming from Tiana Taylor. And of course, a rose that grew from concrete is coming from Tupac Shakur. So definitely see the iteration there. Tiana Taylor made it into a song, made it, you know, her own version from Harlem. Salutes to her. And in my opinion, she made an awesome shoe, man. I gotta lie, like I have stated before, I might be adding this one to the collection, man. And you can call me what you want. Women's exclusive, Ludacris got his pair. DJ Khaled got his pair. Um, I'm pretty sure there's much, much more people that are gonna be getting their pair. So, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and get my pair. I'm gonna hold on to them for a little bit. I really like what they did here. I have not owned a Comfort 2 yet, but also with the quality on this shoe, it's A1 steak sauce, straight up. Panther Punjani, okay? So, that's why I'm, I'm grabbing it. And then, you know, why not, man? It's Tiana Taylor, salutes to her. She does her Thug Dizzle, and uh, I'm all for it. So. These are dropping on June 1st on sneakers. I think these are gonna sell out instantly. So I, I think that for the most part, these are going to be a lot of draws, a lot of raffles on these shoes in particular. But they're gonna be like a huge rollout on how these are gonna be pushed and the assets behind it because it is a person's name attached to it. So be on the lookout because it's gonna be coming very, very, very soon. But I'm gonna end you guys off with the on foot. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Peace.